What's up, everybody? So as you can tell by the title, um, I decided to go ahead, well, it was, it was only right because I have done a couple videos on the Camaro LT1 and I was raving about, uh, you know, the tire size and how much you're gonna have the market kind of cornered and it's gonna be working in your favor for any pretty much any tire you want. So uh, that and in combination with the coronavirus, uh, it's causing a spike and uh, I don't know if it's just the time of year, but I've never had this hard of a time um, Getting kind of like a winter beater car uh, For such, you know a cheap price and I've been looking around um, Anything decent that looks kind of reliable um, <laughs> You're talking fifteen hundred dollars two thousand twenty five hundred um I can rent a car cheaper than that. And if you can get like uh, those deals where it's like $115, $125. Um, here in Iowa, really, the, you know, January, February, it's your worst month. So uh, I, I tallied it up and it's like 980 bucks to rent um, a car. But uh, at the end of it, you really don't have anything to show for it. And I was kind of having a problem with that. So uh, I took kind of the initiative that, uh, um, shot my mouth off, kind of put my money where my mouth is. So, I decided to go ahead, oh, and I picked up these bad boys. So, I picked up four brand new uh, Camaro LT1 wheels. That's why this is gonna be such a good video, I believe, to put out there. Um, and it doesn't matter when you view this at all, uh, if you're, you know, any project you have, that's why I'm putting this up. Uh, this wheel, this shredder wheel, will actually fit. Uh, it came on every, the four cylinder, six cylinder, uh, the LT1 VA, the RS, all pretty much every model of Camaro except ZL1. So this wheel, um, it pertains, uh, it's gonna cover a pretty broad spectrum of like all pretty much six gen Camaro period. So uh, I've kind of put this up. If you guys have any questions, um, I'm telling you right now, after picking this thing up, it's it's pretty freaking heavy. So, I mean, after, uh, you know, I, I'm running 20 inch wheels on there right now, but my OE 1LE wheels, um, they are forged aluminum. So they're a little bit lighter. This, I, I, I don't know if this is aluminum or what, but it's pretty heavy. So I'm, I'm just telling you uh, right away, anybody with the LT1 car, um, I'm telling you the difference is gonna be very very minimal and I mean it's gonna come down to like one or two pounds I'm willing to bet uh, This is a pretty heavy wheel. I don't know what it's made of. I have to, I have to look it up uh, The UPS truck dropped these off at my doorstep and I was picked them up and I was like Jesus the label on them said 38 pounds a piece so I, I don't think that's Right, maybe it is. I don't know. It's a 20 inch wheel, but Nonetheless, uh, LT1 cars, definitely. If you can get some 1LE wheels or ZL1 wheels, do it. That's, I, I, would, I would highly recommend it. But uh, I got these wheels uh, off of eBay and I got them at a pretty decent price. Uh, just, you know, right around a thousand bucks for all four. They're brand new OE. I was a little bit skeptical when I bought these, but uh, they said brand new OE wheels for a thousand bucks. Um, yes, there are better designs. Yes, there are cheaper designs to go with, uh, but I'm telling you, this is the best way to do it because the quality of metal you're not gonna find uh, in any aftermarket wheel for the money. You're gonna have to go up quite a bit on the dollar, uh, you know, for, for price as far as finding like an equivalent uh, wheel. Especially when you're running, this takes a 245 40 20 tire. So that 40 is the sidewall and it's in a ratio. It's not a set size. So for that short, low profile of a tire, definitely, um, you know, this is gonna be my winter tire. Uh, you know, we might have some fun with it in the summer, but uh, if I slide into a curb or if I, uh, you know, anything that happens, it's gonna be a lot more, uh, it, 
this is gonna take a lot more abuse than uh, if I bought something that looked better, um, uh, cooler, you know, in the aftermarket. But as much as I hate black wheels, and I'm not a big fan of black wheels at all, but uh, this is the, the best way to go for the money. It's gonna be the most durable. Uh, it's gonna fit correctly. And uh, it'll just, you know, you bolt it on and go and you don't have to worry about it. It'll last, you know, pretty much the life of the car. So, unless you have something really dramatic happen to it. So, if you guys have any questions or anything, um, I have not yet bolted these to the car. As you can see, I haven't even put a valve stem in it. So, um, I'm probably, I don't know if I want to run like a rubber valve stem the first time around, uh, just to see how the car with the TPMS uh, reading with that e-diff, see if it throws it off maybe. I mean, I could, you know, $10 is gonna get me the, the little rubber valve stems. I can always put TPMS sensors in it later. Um, that might be a good experiment to see if it throws, you know, any, any uh, codes or anything off with the car, but, uh, any questions or anything as far as ride quality, handling, uh, you know, this will be a pretty good experiment because I'm going to put, I haven't ordered anything yet because I can't find anything really that I like, but I think I found some BF Goodriches that, uh, I don't know, I'm probably gonna order after I get done recording here, so. Now I did uh, do the building price on the LT1, and you can fit my 1LE brakes on the car with these wheels on the, uh, the building price simulator. So, um, that's leading me to believe that it fits. Um, I really don't think the 20 inch, I think, I think you know, these, uh, this, this design, you can see it goes right up to the barrel. You can see that, uh, so I mean, I really don't see this being an issue with it. It shows that it clears on the website, but I really don't see it being a big, big issue, so. Um, any questions as far as you guys have, uh, you know, experiment with my money. Don't experiment with yours. So uh, hit me up in the comments below. I'll do the best I can to answer everything you, that, you, uh, that you're that you wondering about. And other than that, I'm going to order some tires and we'll see how this goes. So hope you guys are having a great day. Remember, there's no such thing as a rear fender, fellas. So until next time, catch you later.